All right, welcome to another edition of the BS Sessions. Today, we're going to give you our top six Iron Maiden albums. But before that, we got a lot of bullshit to discuss, some BS. Yeah, there is. A lot of bull bullshit, man. What are you looking at over there? I don't see. Is there a girl with tits behind me? <laughs> no. oh, there, okay. it, 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 these sunglasses kind of reflect. Sometimes I gotta press the button. Sometimes they continue. Yeah, I think so. we're the only people on like podcasts or video podcasts that wear our sunglasses. <laughs> Dude, my, I, you don't know how hard it was to do that show last night, man. It was. I, I was so dehydrated, man, from working outside all day. I can barely even. Dude, say it. Uh, <laughs> dude, when I mowed the lawn on my back forty in Victorville. <laughs> <laughs> freaking it was just weeds but i had to cut them down for weed abatement dude i, I didn't drink any water and i went and passed out <laughs> i was like yeah so, i mean i was just i know how you feel <sighs> i'm glad we have freaking uh guys who mow our lawn here <laughs> my wife told me to sell the lawnmower she's getting gardeners i go good <laughs> yeah all right well let's uh let's start off with uh well, let's start off what's going on now in atlanta they just opened up the stadium tour uh, I heard good things about Joan Jett. I heard good things about Poison. Uh, one of the saw things that C.C. DeVille did, he did Eruption by Eddie Van Halen. Oh, good for him, man. I want to yeah. know how it sounds because yeah. I like C.C. I think he's great. I'm sure it's C.C.'d up, if you know what I mean, in his own I, way. But that's cool to pay up. You know, Joan Jett always puts on a great show. I've seen her a lot of times. I mean, every time she's just awesome. Yeah, every time I see her that she's singing the song Light of Day, I want to find buy that on blu-ray because i love that movie yeah. <laughs> michael j fox and her brother and sister but you know what i hope they uh i hope they i hope everybody sounds good on the tour man i you know I'm not, people are like ragging on them and stuff but i'm hoping they all sound good man well i heard I that Tom, tommy lee broke four ribs 14 days ago but it looks like he's oh, wow. on drums but people are saying no that's tommy confront confronto and then somebody said on chris Sinsax, at least during girl, girls 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 he could still go hey tommy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, these guys are, you know, from a cool, awesome period of my life, man. You know, uh, a lot, like I said, a lot of people rag on this tour, but I'm I'm hoping they all sound good and they all stay healthy. Yeah, uh, well, I know Def Leppard sounds good because I've heard them live. I just heard that show with the whiskey they did to open her album. They sounded fine. Joe, you could hear they stepped down a little bit, you know, right. they slowed it down a That's little bit. That's so going to happen, yeah. Yeah, Joe's voice is a little grainy, but it's not tapes. It's, right. it's not Bon Jovi bad. It's good. It's possible you're not gonna see him I said, oh, God, no right <laughs> he's not gonna be doing that high note on that anymore man but and that could be the reason why they don't want to do any higher and dry environment you get some high notes in some of those tunes so well they did that in vegas thing where they opened for themselves called flying flatbird or something and everybody did they open did. for themselves really they that's open cool for, well. they opened for themselves as a different band <laughs> and they disguised themselves so, yeah, and they played nothing but high and dry and old, old uh, Def Leppard. Oh, that would have been fucking awesome. I could probably find it on YouTube and show it to you because yeah, somebody man, probably definitely. recorded that. And uh, I, I heard some live feed from um, Motley Crue and it's him singing Luke's, Looks to Kill. Somebody's going, I can't understand a damn word Vince is saying. And I, <laughs> I'm going, I'm I'm hearing him. I'm hearing, see, he's got that Looks at Kill. And it looks like Mick is playing pretty good, but he looks very frail, though, man. Yeah, what time did this concert start? Well, it's in Atlanta, so it probably started at 45. And Poison, Joe Jet, and Molly Cruz on already? Yeah. Damn. Dude, it's East time. Isn't Atlanta Eastern? Or is it? Yeah, it's 845 there. Yeah, I think they started at four because there's four bands. Oh, right? okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah Joe Jet opened and Poison, and then I the set list for Poison looked. They're all the hits, you know. Right. They ain't gonna bring in uh some freaking Richie Cotson. No. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> but the only thing that irritated me is that they Motley Crue, there was video from they did the song The Dirt. Mm -hmm. And he had fucking uh Machine Gun Kelly up there rapping with them, doing that oh, one I, rap part. Yeah. And everybody's Fuck going, that. and then somebody said, Well, if he shows up at my show, I'm gonna freaking ask for a refund right away. <laughs> no shit. That guy sucks. He said he I mean, was done with rock. I mean, fucking, at least Post Malone, he can sing. He's got a decent voice, but I think Kelly sucks, man. Post Malone could play guitar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a talent. I don't like his music, but he can, he, you know, he's gifted at least. Yeah, I, I, I'll I, give him credit on that. I won't give Machine Gun. Machine Gun Kelly uses the guitar as a prop. I don't even yeah. think he can play it. 
And I think there was somebody else who's playing a guitar. So somebody said, oh, they're not playing. That's a prop. And I go, oh, okay. But uh, I'll, give them, I'll, I'll give them props for landing Megan Fox. But other than that. Yeah. Well, this leads us to our next subject. Since you brought up Post Malone, he admitted he writes all <laughs> his songs on a shitter. <laughs> I bet you a lot of people fucking do, though. At mm-hmm. least lyrics. You know what I mean? I write notes for our show sometimes taking a shit. I do, too. I, yeah, I learned a lot on the shitter, man. That, that's my school now, is the, you know, the fucking shitter, man. <laughs> and my wife's always bitching, why are you in there for half an hour? It's like, I'm learning shit, man. I'm learning shit. <laughs> I'm learning how to change the carburetor on our car. <laughs> right. You do. I mean, you, you learn a lot sitting there fucking going through shit because you're bored. Like, there was you this... Know? Uh, my car, it had a, I took it to like one of those places and they plugged in a thing, my old Prius. And there was, some, there was something, the it check engine light said, oh, it's a, um, it's a little piece. It's a sensor. It's an air sensor. And I, so I called a mechanic and said, how much did you, oh, 400 bucks. I go, really? And I went back to, and I watched a YouTube video, how to change it. And I went back and bought the part for 20 bucks. And it took me two minutes to change it. Like, literally right. charged me four hundred dollars to fucking yeah. plug and play. What yeah. the fuck, man? Three hundred eighty bucks on labor, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Oh okay. my labor for two minutes. Yeah, I, I right. wish I could pay myself three hundred eighty dollars. No shit. It's like fucking eight. Well, I worked for a, a gas station and had a thing, and we bought like a carburetor for like what. 25 bucks and we charged him 400 so i seen the carburetor <laughs> i got the bills in i was paying the parts guys so i know what they that mechanics are fucking ripoffs man oh but, yeah but i will say changing your spark plugs on the newer cars because it's behind the fucking block they have to freaking do a lot of work for that that's worth it but just plugging and playing little things in it's like come on man yeah i mean they could find the problem right away just by you know going through plugging in that electronic fucking thing or whatever yeah there, there's no really diagnostics anymore and sometimes yeah. you go to a dealer oh we'll charge you 200 dollars for diagnostics so I, I just go to the freaking those little auto parts stores and they give me that little scanner and they do it for me oh the code is this this is for this and then i call the dealer oh how much is this oh that's only like 100 bucks and i go but they were going to charge me 200 dollars to diagnose it and put it towards the repair so i would a lot so where's that minus 100 coming from right <laughs> oh my yeah, god but man i mean you, you fucking do a lot on the shitter man believe it or not you know? <laughs> hey guys we want you to comment tell us what you guys do on the shitter man yeah really. let's take it a shit like leave <laughs> comments here uh when i post it on our page leave comments there leave it on youtube i know you guys leave comments because you guys are still bitching about and wilson on my uh freeform rock page <laughs> youtube <laughs> Fuck, man. I never seen so many comments going off about fucking uh, a song in my life. I guess Robin Trower is fucking a god to these guitar players. Yeah, I'm surprised a lot of them even still remember him. So, well, these guys are saying, well, he's pretty I, awesome. Robin, Robin Trower is pretty awesome. Yeah, man. And it, uh, well, another thing I didn't give you this list, but I've been Wolf, Wolfgang Van Halen went off on some uh, troll again. Because he would say, yeah, you got the name because of your dad. You wouldn't have done anything, blah, 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 blah. And they, I heard the Foo Fighters invited you to perform at the tribute concert. You wouldn't have got that, blah, blah, blah. And he said, I'm sorry for being born. <laughs> exactly. That's his only fault, man. His yeah. being 80 son. Sorry for being born. You know, Wolfgang, keep it up. I love the album, man. It fucking yeah. rocks. And I can't wait for a second album because I know if you're like your dad, you're going to fucking bump the you know, get it going, you know, because yeah. the second album from Bad Angel 2 was amazing, just as good as the first. It had more like, I think it had more groove to it. The second I album. thought the second one was better than the first one. I mean, that's saying a lot. Well, first DOA, frogs. dude. Yeah. DOA <laughs> fucking rules. But then um, before we get into the Iron Maiden, I'll save the Iron Maiden comments here. And then we get to, did you hear about that Google engineer was put on leave because the AI, he said the AI has become sentient. Yep. It's coming, man. It's coming. <laughs> Cyber Nine is happening right now, man. We have all these we already have the drones, man. <laughs> yeah, it's coming, dude. I'm telling you. We're gonna be wiped off the earth. All right. And then um uh, this kind of pissed me off. I don't know if they're doing it to get reaction, but uh Joker 2 to be a musical. 
You know what? It is going to start. It's going to be Joaquin is going to play the role, right? Yeah. He is kind of a weird dude. You know, it wouldn't surprise me. I hope it's not true, but it wouldn't surprise me one bit if he did. He's done some weird shit, man. You ever see that movie, Her? Yeah. Where he fell in love with the operating system or whatever. So it. it wouldn't surprise me, man. Yeah, I hope but, it's not, though. But they're getting Lady Gaga to play Harlequin, Harley Quinn, and I'm going, she's a great actress. But she's not bad. I mean, I have, she's, she's good, have, dude. She's she really good. A great actress. I mean, I can't. She's really... a better actress than Madonna was. Oh yeah. Like, okay, and who's shots. that girl? I watched that movie because I, I like, I like the other guy in there. But and freaking that film she made with uh, her husband at the time, Sean Pitt's fucking. Oh horror. god, what was that movie called? That was the worst movie ever. Oh fuck, made. worse than fucking Ishtar. I think, I think it had a city name in it or something. Let me see, Madonna, know. Sean Pitt. Remember Ishtar with Warren Beatty and Oh God uh, and Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> Jeez. Madonna. Sean Penn movie. Do, do, do. At Close Range? No, that wasn't it. That was it. a good movie, actually. No, that she wasn't just, it. Why did she just did uh, Live to Tell, which I actually like that song in that movie. What was the movie, man? It Shanghai, was that Shanghai Surprise. Shanghai Surprise, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Surprise! It sucked! That movie sucked. <laughs> it sucked. Uh, Madonna had to give him a blowjob to get in that movie, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then they have that girl, um, that girl from uh, who played Ruth in Ozark. She's, Love her, man. She's yeah. pinned to play Madonna in a biopic. Yeah. I think that's a great. Uh, she looks kind of like her in the. Uh, she does. The early days around that. Who's that girl stage? Actually, come to think about it, yeah. I like that movie. Who's that girl? It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like the soundtrack. You know, I like. Mad- I haven't played Madonna I'm, that that metal I'm station. I'm a Madonna yet. fan. Okay, I admit it. I like Madonna. I like her slow songs better, but I like her stuff. Yeah, man. I, I, um, if you guys want to hear me play Madonna, check out that metalstation.com at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, only on that metalstation.com. But this week, I'm going to do 1983, all music from 19, well, good music from 1983, new wave, pop, metal, hard rock. I want it all. I'm going to mix it up. Are we going to hear Mr. Roboto? If that's 1983, that I think it is, in. yeah. That shit's coming in. I'm gonna play some fucking Mr. Roboto, man. I love that song. Fuck you guys, you know, like Mr. Roboto. You suck. At least do heavy metal. At least do heavy metal poisoning off it. Heavy metal. Oh shit! I should just do that. But fuck, dude. Now you gave me a better song. <laughs> Mr. Roboto would piss off the fucking Sticks fans. Ah. Uh, the Sticks fans love it because they brought it back and everybody claps and sings to it. I loved it when I was, you know. When it came out when I was little, or you know, my younger days. Yeah, that album is fucking underrated. I love Kilroy was here. Uh, no, you don't like Best of Time. That was not on that one. What was I it? I love the Best of Time. That's on Paradise. Yeah, it's on Paradise. What's the the song? You got Haven't We Been Here Before? Double Life, High High Times. The ballad. Or oh, show- uh, don't let it in. Don't let it in. I love that fucking yeah, song. Yeah, that's a good song. That's a good song. Fucking uh, Dennis sounds so fucking awesome on that. Yeah, and last then, time I saw him, last time I saw Dennis live, he was awesome. He did that song. He did all his classic songs. He was awesome. And then we get to um, Smash Mouth. This is a scab band now. What do you think about that? Probably an improvement. You never know. <laughs> hey man, you're an all star. The song sucks. Fuck you. <laughs> now get the song out of my head. Go fuck off. This group sucks. Might as well be walking on the sun. That's the only song I like by them. Really? I just like the background, though. It sounded like old, like, 60s go-go dancer music. You know, I could could see fucking, uh, what's her name? Fucking Kurt Russell's wife, Goldie Hawn, sitting there doing a go-go dance to it. (laughs) You know, freaking laughing. You know, (laughs) ever doing that. I remember them and Sugar Ray came out at the same time. I'm like, what the hell is the world coming to, man? Sugar Ray, dude, that dude loves metal and he went pop. They used to call him a poser yeah. at the, yeah. they used to have the parties where, uh, with Ricky Rackman. People hate Ricky Rackman. I like Ricky Rackman. I'm with you, Nate. I like Ricky Rackman. <laughs> but, uh, I would have loved to have gone to his club, but it's yeah. gone now. But, uh, him and Tammy Down made that, uh, the cat house. Fucking sounds cool. I love Faster Pussycat, man. I think I they're too. very underrated. Yeah. Fucking where he's got a great voice. Tam's got a great freaking voice. Yeah, Tammy got fat for a little bit, but he's back down. So he looks. You can always tell now. he was kind of like 
he's always kind of struggling with it. You can tell by the this way his body is. I love bathroom. Wow, where there's a wit, there's a way. Poison Ivy, fucking great band. Uh, Power in the glory hole. <laughs> Did we get to uh, freaking uh, Trancers movies? You ever heard of Trancers? Trancers. It was coming out in the eighties. Yes. Vaguely, man. I'd have to watch him again. Let me see. Let's see. It's Tim Thomerson. You know Tim Thomerson, right? <clears throat> Not offhand. Damn, that looks familiar, man. Yeah, it's where he comes from the future to destroy transfers or guys are like modern day vampires, kind of. He transfer. There's like seven of them, dude. But uh, I subscribe to this. Uh, this video streaming video because they gave me the freaking all all these i think i showed you before Ugh. i paid for a year it was like 50 bucks and i got the whole puppet master collection on uh that's right you showed me that yeah that's pretty cool on a uh, blu-ray that, that's pretty it. fucking awesome i love those movies dude yeah. uh, you ever heard of full moon features full moon video Nope. You never went in a blockbuster and all the fucking great movies are out. You said, well, let's go check out what they got in the yeah. sci-fi section. You all never time, picked, you never picked up subspecies. Oh, I subspecies. I'm thinking of Chud. Subspecies. Uh, let me man. let me get a list of full moon movies. I know I've probably seen them. It's just been forever. If you're a, it is like something that okay, look. They got Puppet Master, Demonic Toys, Subspecies. Demonic Toys is fucking cool. Uh, yeah, they have all the Puppet Master movies. Dr. Morbid, Killjoy Hell. They have all these fucking uh, Evil Bong, Tommy Chong's and that. That's the newer stuff they're making. They got a bunch of those uh, Corona Corona Zombies, I think, as a new 2020. That's a yeah, new I one. Yeah, I might have watched shows when What's His Face did his horror shows. What's his name? Uh, the Cowboy Guy. He's kind of. Yeah, this movie Bad Channels is really good, too. And they What's started. Guy's... It was that guy's name. He was like a cowboy kind of guy, but he did like horror movies every week. Uh, late I don't night. Remember. Wow. But, dude, really? if you like freaking cheesy horror movies that are well done, uh, Pet and the Pedulum is really good, too. Uh... Freaking Robot Wars. I think that was the first one. Robot Wars started it. Is that it's the like, one where those robots are guarding the mall? No, that's yeah, Chopping Mall. I don't know, but they're fucking good, dude. Alien Desperados, 1994. It's like, I went into Blockbuster Video, and like I went to the main features, and they were you pick up the box, and nothing's behind it. And you're like, Fuck. I know. It's I like, that. you're not going to leave without getting something, right? So I go, oh, let's go look at these horror movies. And I just saw the cover of Subspecies. Yeah. They have like four of them, Subspecies 1 and 2. It's killer vampire movie, man. It's like the vampire's fucking ugly as fuck. And it's yeah. like, let me see if I can find a picture of Subspecies so I can show you what he looked like. But a, a lot of our friends know what I'm talking about. You need to look into it. I'm just telling you, I think you'll love it. Images. I love horror movies, so... I, I thought well, that's what seen the all vampire looks like. I see, it's pretty cool looking, actually. Yeah, they film all these in like Romanian shit. <laughs> so they're fucking great, man. Oh, oh Bloodstone, Sud Species 2. That was a good one, too. <laughs> you got to watch them. They're, they're, they seem like they're freaking cheat, they're cheese, but the script is really good. And they get transfers is kind of campy. I don't know if you don't know Tim Thomerson, he was a comedian stand-up comedian he was, you dude you know him he's been in so much shit i probably he's... know thomerson thomas let's see i'll give you a picture of him you're gonna know him that's not him it went to the wrong thing <laughs> it went to tomlinson yeah sometimes that fucking autocorrect pisses me off okay No? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know who was in the first subspe uh the first transfers with him and the second transfers? Who? Uh 
Helen Hunt. There's a big, there's a big glare there. Oh, Helen Hunt. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's in the first, I think she's in the first three. But he's also a stand-up comedian. He was on that special for the comedy store uh, with uh, Paulie talking about it on cable. It's pretty cool, man. It's a pretty cool cheesy movie. It's sci-fi fucking cheese. Like in, like, it's like fucking lines you would like cheesy lines but he pulled he it's like watching the naked gun with those lines and he's serious about right. saying them <laughs> it's not a comedy but it's it, it, wait it's like captain kirk doing lines it's like that's right. what he does but uh that's all we have on the bullshit let's get to our uh, main show right now which is our top six iron maiden and before we get into this i want you guys to subscribe share and give us your top six iron maiden um albums in on the youtube page or on our facebook pages so let's start with number six what's your number six jerry actually let me say one thing before that bruce dickinson said if he were to retire he'd oh yeah hand pick his own replacement you know he can stand it all he wants that steve harris's band but you know interesting if they let him if they let him do that i know dave murray was actually mentioned a couple of times he was thinking about retiring i hope not but uh yeah, I don't know, you know, how that would go or who we, well, I, would, I, I would, I couldn't pick a, a singer out there now that could replace him and Maiden right now. Oh, wait. Hey, have to be a, go ahead. Oh, no, as long as it's not Blaze Bailey, I'll be fine. <laughs> There's people I'm out there. I'm starting to like him more, man. I know you are. And uh, I got something here because I did a poll on the uh, top three, on the Iron Maiden singers. I took a photo of it. It's not, that's not the photo. Here it is. Right now, out of 80 votes, I put it in a bunch of groups, no Iron Maiden groups. Paul Diano got 31% of the vote. Bruce Dickinson won with 66% of the vote. Blaze Bailey got 3% of the vote. <laughs> hey, you got votes. Got votes. Yeah, by two people. And the guy, one of the guys who, uh, Eric, sw I can't say his last name. Eric, man, what's up if you ever watch this? But uh, he sells me some used records. I think he sent me the wrong record, though, because I know I asked for Helix, Long Way to Heaven. He gave me another Helix record, but I'm not going to complain. He's going through some problems. I'll keep it. I have it on CD. But uh, Blaze Bailey, man, I don't, he, and we were arguing today. And he goes, well, Bruce can't sing any of those songs that Blaze could do. And I go, Bruce, he doesn't sound as evil as Blaze does. And I go, well, that may be the case, but most of my friends like Bruce when he sings Blaze's songs better than Blaze. So, yeah, the only song I seen him do live was the Klansman. That was the only Blaze song that I saw. And he sounded all right doing it. Yeah. So uh, I'm just saying, Bruce is the favorite singer. I, Paul Diano comes in a not even a close second. He got burned on this one, 31 percent to 66 percent for. I love Paul Diano's albums with them. They're great. But oh, yeah, I, I do. Bruce I Bruce. I didn't like them at first, but I. Since Dr. Fuck from the Rock and Metal Combat podcast kept talking about it so much. Oh, dude, Killers is fucking amazing. Record, I went dude. and bought them. Is one of the Deano albums in my top six? Wait and see. I want to find Battle Zone too on vinyl. What's Battle Paul Zone? Battle Zone? Paul oh. Deano's Battle Zone. That's a great record. I don't know anything of him solo. So uh, I I think he's good. He, get, he gave him a punkish feel. Like a, he's a cool punk. dude. I mean, he never bad mouths as, you know, anybody in Maiden, you know. Actually, I think they still hang out every now and then and have a drink or two. But. Yeah. And I'm wearing this shirt for the stadium tour. I do I do have my <laughs> Journey Def Leppard one, but I'm saying, well, Journey's not in it, so I'll just wear the singular shirt. I saw the shirts they're giving. It has Motley Crue and Def Leppard on it, the stadium tour 2022. Those look badass. I can't wait to get one. But uh, let's get into our top six. We do top six. We don't do top five or top we ten. We do weird numbers. We're we original. do weird numbers. And <laughs> next week, we're going to do top 11 soundtrack songs. That yeah, I'm already working on that one. That's yeah, I haven't started yet. I already know about three or four I'm going to put on there, but I'm, no spoilers. But uh, what's your number <laughs> six Iron Maiden album? Number six, I remember I'll be out on your freeform broadcast reviewing this one. Uh, seven, Son of a Seven Son. It's a mixed bag. I mean, it's got some great songs on it, like Moonchild, you know, the title track. Evil That Men some, Do. It's got some duds on it, man, like Infinite Dreams. Ah. Only the Good Die Young. Ah. <laughs> uh, I like the Evil That Men Do. I Can I Play With Madness has grown on me through the can years. But uh, this is a different record. They, I know they were doing more keys with Somewhere in Time, but they really went far on this one. 
you know? I was listening to somewhere time the other day and, and there's the keys are a lot of the keys are like back rung. They're not really high up in the mix, kind of like on that album. Yeah. So it was kind of cool. I, I but we don't know if that album made my list or somewhere in time made my list, but I gotta go. I think this is one of the best albums they released. Better than Book of Souls, better than Sinzitsu, which I do like Sinzitsu. Uh, it is long, and sometimes when you're driving, you only have, I have an hour. I don't want to listen to one album in an hour <laughs> on the way to work, so I put on something that's like, I want to get two or three albums in, so I put on 30-minute albums just to rock out, or I listen to the podcast, like the Decibel Geek, Rock All Over You podcast, Rock and Metal Combat podcast. There I go, fucking licking my brother's asses again, and Decibel Geek, and fucking the plug with fucking Nate and Nate and Metal Mike. Metal Mike does listen to the audio versions of this podcast, and also check out Rat Salad podcast. I listen to that also when he has good episodes. Fuck you, Wayne. <laughs> you block bitch. Uh, check out the, and they got a. He's got a uh, a new song coming out with uh, Ralph Vieira uh doing unholy by kiss i can't yeah. wait to hear that he was gonna have me uh record me going yeah i was gonna no. do that too <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> i didn't have to, i didn't have time so uh <laughs> i'm not gonna be in it so fuck you wayne i hate you <laughs> but check out the rat salad network our audio podcasts are on wherever you get podcasts at he's got them everywhere i did we're not so we are on spotify with him so you guys can check us out on spotify Anywhere you get podcasts, Rat Salad uh, Review Network. Rat Salad Review, I think that's... My number six is A Matter of Life and Death. Good one. I fucking love this album, dude. Uh, fucking uh, Brighter Than a Thousand Suns, The Reincarnation of Benjamin Bragg, that's The Greater rules. Good of God, The yep. Leg... This whole album is just fucking strong start to finish. There's not one dud on this, dude. That album you, cover is badass, too. It's one oh, of the I, fuck, I want a poster yeah. of this, dude. But yeah. I have no room to put this in. I tried to find the Chapman Street 401, but I couldn't find one anywhere. Dude, I'm stuck in this small room. I had to fucking make space. I got a new CD thing here you can't see right now. I haven't put the shelves on yet because I ran out of space. I have, a, I have another 400 CD rack right here to fill up. Now. Yeah, I got so much shit. So I need to get rid of some. I, get, I got a Star Wars pinball machine coming in. What the fuck? I need to find fucking room for it. At least it's not a Kiss pinball machine. Yeah, no, it's one of those ones. It's an actual pinball machine, but it's like the computer oh. graphic. It's not an actual pinball machine. I wanted it's the cool. Rush pinball machine. Yeah, they got a native one actually. It looks really cool. Yeah, but it's like what six thousand dollars? Thirty thousand dollars, I think. Fuck that shit. <laughs> the native one was. I think it was no, no, no. I'm bad. My bad. It was like two or three thousand dollars, I think. So what's your number five? Number five. Peace of mind. Woo! This is Bruce's best vocal album, I think, man. I mean, the the the, type, the first track where Eagles Dare is freaking awesome. Revelations, Flight of Icarus, man. They're probably the more the most popular song. Popular, ugh, the poppy, ugh, poppy song. Excuse me. Uh, God, this is not a bad song. Die with your boots on. Trooper, still life. Quest for fire. Well, Quest for fire may be kind of a dud. Oh, I love that song. Sun and Steel to Tame a Land and fucking just man. Holy shit, I need to listen to this. It's chock full of good shit. Uh, Eric RMCP Jordan from the Rock All Over You podcast with our other brother Eddie kind of stretchy. Didn't put this in his top six because he only likes two songs and I go, yeah. So you know, spoiler alert, it's going to be in my top six somewhere. I'm not going to tell you <laughs> where though. But uh, my number five, I picked a Deanna album, Killers. Fucking outstanding right it's a fucking great album man uh fucking thank you ralph Vieira, for getting me into this piano area because i i was a i was a i'm still a paul nut swinger uh uh fucking bruce nut prodigal swinger. son prodigal son fucking is one of the best songs ever written fucking man. great album man i like it how it came yeah. with like a little sleeve on it <laughs> fucking cool and then what's your number uh four my number four is the debut where it all started. I don't nice. care what people say about the recording of it. I know it's not the greatest, but man, Remember Tomorrow, Running Free, Phantom of the Opera, uh, Charlotte the Harlot, Iron Maiden. I mean, fucking A, dude. Uh, then the Stratton's only appearance, or only. When, when did the other dude come in, the other guitar? Henry Smith came in in Killers. Who? 
Adrian Smith. Yeah, that's probably why I like this album better. Yeah. <laughs> then, yeah. But uh, I love watching old videos when they were playing clubs with this album. Um, I think album it was called one. Seven Seven Deadly. I mean, they, have, they used to have a, a DVD, or not DVD, but a VHS tape in the 80s they used to have. It was like 12 Wasted Years, it was called, or something like that. And it had a lot of track, or a lot of uh, uh, shots of their club days, and they were just awesome, man. Hey, I... I speaking of videos this is off topic but i think i um my friend eric swinson swinson whatever his name is he's selling old uh dvds of wwe and i tagged you eric and nate and he's selling for three to ten bucks i might buy some of them yeah you should hit him up he's not taking pictures of them unless there's demand for them so check it out he's a good guy man and then um my number four I think this is the best Iron Maiden cover of all time. Pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good kick-ass album. There's not really a bad Maiden album cover. No. Well, Dance of Death is pretty lame. Eh, I kind of like it. Really? <laughs> Let me see. Do I have that one here? It's the only one I don't have. And it's like 100 bucks. Yeah. I don't want the CD. I want the fucking vinyl. I got this, from, like BM- I got this from BMG. <laughs> You know what happened there. <laughs> and I had money that at that time to buy them. But uh, I like Dance of Death. It's the only album where you have a count off in the beginning of the song with Nico. I like that. That didn't make my top six, though. But somewhere in time, it's fucking the loneliness of the long distance runner. Uh, caught somewhere in time. Wasted Years is just amazing with that, yeah. that fucking guitar riff. Sea of Madness, Alexander the Great in the album, Deja Vu, Stranger, Stranger, Stranger in Strange Land. That's my Heaven, favorite song. Heaven Can Wait is the is not the strongest song on the album, but it's still good. Kind of cool they bring people up on stage from the crowd to sing that. Oh, 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 oh. Whatever they do that. I've only seen them cool. once, but they were amazing. And I tried to get yeah. tickets here. It's like over a hundred dollars a ticket for it, man. I don't know. Who's opening for them? Who's opening for them? Dude, they don't need, they need to go like, they need to do like Rush. Yeah. And do a four hour concert and have a fucking intermission in between, you know? Yeah, they could do a, uh, well, I mean, they're like, you know, they're not, they're getting up there in years too. Man. Especially uh, since they're doing 12 minute songs, man. They need to have well, a four hour show, man. That's, 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 that makes sense. Yeah. So, and you don't need, they, they he had his uh, son, son's band, the Raven Age, open up. And uh, Fozzy, when I saw them, Fozzy fucking sucked dick. <laughs> My God, just Chris Jericho, stick to wrestling in your podcast. Yeah, I agree. Dude. Oh my! Chris Jericho is pretty badass wrestler, but I'm not a big fan. God, of his voice is horrible. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? These people think they could sing. Yep. I got at least Johnny Depp knows he could play guitar and doesn't try to sing. <laughs> but Johnny Depp was a musician first before he was an actor. He got roped yeah. into acting, so. That was my number four. What's your number three? My number three. Ah, this is a hard one between three and two, but Power Slave. Ooh. I mean, I need to get that on vinyl. Two minutes to midnight. Lost for words. Uh, fucking the Duelists. Fucking that Ryan guitar- and the Ancient Mariners. One of their best songs ever. The guitar. Oh yeah. Probably the best song they perform live. Man. They should do it every concert. I know it's they like should do the Duelist live. Yeah. They have three guitarists now. It'd be like the three True, list. Yeah. The three list. <laughs> but, uh, oh, Ace is high. It's fucking great. So two minutes to midnight. I mean, fuck. This is just a great record, man. Uh, also, it's just, I guess the tour they did the uh, Live After Death, too, if I remember right. Now, great. Some people say Bruce's voice sounds bad at Live After Death. I need to get that on CD and fucking. Uh, I have it digitally. I need to get it on vinyl too. I love that album. Uh, but uh, yeah, Made in England's pretty damn good though. Yeah. But um, my number three, the same as hey. you. Can <laughs> rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Aces High. This is actually the first album. I got into Maiden late, not like you guys. You know, I got into them. I thought they were evil. I thought they were devil, devil's music. I had a grandpa as a pastor. My grandpa never told me any of the music I listened to wasn't godly. He never like shut me down on that shit. He let me play what I want. I'd put shit in his car, like Motley Crue, shout at the devil. He never said one word to me about it. 
my grandpa was a cool fucking pastor you know you got these pastors i don't need to get religious you got these pastors to say you're going to hell you listen to that music my grandpa was like go ahead and play what you want mark yeah and uh i got into this i think in 1989 my friend lonnie who was a mormon he was just going on just before he went on his mission in and out burger again ever edwin always says you and in and out burger yeah that's where i got into my music that's when i started making friends it's during high school and elementary school i had no friends until i started working so uh this album fucking rules he let me borrow it i fucking cracked his case i felt so bad but this album fucking rules so yeah i hear you album. man growing up i grew up in going to a catholic school man i was listening to metal and that just did not mix man <laughs> oh but i got what I'm saying, I, I said, it, I did it to myself. I didn't have my grandpa right. telling me that, you know, I did it to myself thinking that I don't need to listen to this. But when I took out the lyrics and started reading this, they're talking about World War II. They're talking about literature with the rhyme of the ancient mariner. They're talking about, they're not talking about anything satanic at all. I had to recite a poem in my 12th grade English class and I did rhyme of the ancient mariner, that part where he goes, one after one by the star dog and moon, too quick to grow on our side. <laughs> it's like this. So I, so, I, so I actually knew the poem before I, uh, you know, I got an A. Yeah, even Thanks, I I've read Slayer lyrics. They're not satanic either. They have the imagery, yeah. but they're talking about the evils of man. You yeah, know, I mean, the, I, other one, the other one that's even closer is the number of the beast, man. That, you know, looks like devil stuff. He's got a devil on the cover. But then you, you, they're <laughs> quoting a fucking Bible, dude. They're not telling uh, you anything well I'll let, before i think that's going to be one of your picks and one of my <laughs> picks for sure so what's your number two number two is uh, killers ah my number five love this record man fucking uh i'm gonna mention the songs on it fucking the title track murders in the fucking room more that fucking song uh, rules a purgatory drifter prodigal son man i love that song to death um what else was on there wrath child's on there wrath child rules and just and look at that fucking album cover man that is awesome, awesome as fuck. you know my friend he gave me a tapestry of that yeah <laughs> it's, just, it's fucking when i went to bed i'm looking at it on my wall going i gave it to my other friend and he threw it in the closet <laughs> I go, why'd you? It fucking scared me at night. I was getting nightmares <laughs> looking at that fucking cover. I was too, but it's, it's a fucking great album, man. I love it. And then my number two, Number of the, number beast. Of the beast. This fucking album rules 22 Arcacia Avenue. Fucking um, part two is Charlotte the Harlot, actually. Charlotte the Harlot, fucking the back album cover of this. People don't seem to like the extra track on here. Like, I'm glad they're playing Hollow Be That Name. And if like this, this is like the when they re released these, they made them like in record, like, you know, uh, like little vinyls, which is I actually cool. like this better. They're easier to store. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fucking I, I, jewel, case, jewel cases don't fucking break. This might be worth more, but they rip. See how it's ripped? I've had this since 2002, uh, dude. Hey, <laughs> fucking rip. And they come unglued like a fucking out vinyl album. A fucking Hallow Be Thy Name. What an epic fucking song, man. Yeah. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I know you had to pick <laughs> this album. So what's your number one, dude? Gee, I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. Surprise. <laughs> I knew I it. I mean, this is, this is my favorite album. One of my favorite albums. Probably number two or three behind Physical and Freddy by Zeppelin. I mean, it's the last album, Clive, unfortunately. But Nico replaced him quite well. I mean, fucking prisoner, man. I love that song, dude. That big, that big, you know, that was a television series in yep. England, right? And they yep. did a newer one with the guy who played Jesus in uh what's that guy's name? And uh frequency. What's that guy's name? Dennis Quaid? No, the younger guy who played Jesus in fucking Passion of the Christ. Oh, Calvin's Carzon Cavazel? Who? Jim Caviezel. Yeah. Jim Caviezel, Caviezel, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. He, they remade that <laughs> oh, series. They read that made that series on uh something and it was really good. And the beginning, how he goes, You are number six or you're yeah. number five. I am not a prisoner. I am a I'm free man. Free man. And back then, back then when I got this, 
I was at work in the parking lot. I go, I want to make a freaking cool voicemail thing. So I put that on there as a thing. And I, and I recorded that whole thing on my voicemail. And I said, leave a message. I said, and then after I recorded that, I put a speaker on my car and I recorded that. Some chick I liked from work, uh, Mary, she fucking called me to see if I wanted to hang out with her. And she heard that and it scared the fuck out of her. <laughs> so I never got to hang out with her. <laughs> but the weird thing with this album is he put on side one, it's Invaders. And that song really isn't that good. It's like, oh my God. But then he got Children of the Dam, The Prisoner, man. Follow 22 you, Acacia man. Avenue, Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills. I mean, Gangland's <laughs> all right. How would be that name? Like you mentioned, that song. How would be that name is a song, is I think is the best Iron Maiden song of all time. It tells you a whole story about a guy on death row. Yeah. You know. I, Headed for the gallows pole, man. Yeah, well, I, I, I need to read those lyrics, dude. Okay, look at that fucking album cover, dude. I mean. The fucking great I don't album know people don't like the little cartoon devil, but man, look at the fucking Eddie. It's awesome. Look at that. Yep. Fucking badass. That's the thing that put me off on them, dude. But I did buy Shout at the Devil for some reason. Yeah, I can understand how the visuals would, you know, turn people off to it, but man. Ooh. But another I'm thing, I, I'm like, like I said, my for you, Ian Wadley's out there who's probably not watching this. It was me who said not to listen to this shit. My grandpa said he let me play this shit in his car. I put it in the tapes, the Motley Crew, the Beatles, whatever. He let me play anything in his car. Right. My grandpa ruled. <laughs> he didn't judge anybody. Let's see. I like the beginning. I'm waiting. In my cold cell, when the bell begins, the bell to chime, begins to chime, reflecting on my past life, past and life. it doesn't have much time, cause at five o'clock it take me it take to the me gallows, to the gallows pole. pole. Look, you get a free concert. That's the time. A running <laughs> low, and then he running goes for low. the. He starts singing yeah. fast. When a priest comes to read me my last rites, take a look through the the bars in the last night's sights. Of a world that has gone very wrong for me. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> fucking epic. Epic. Yeah. As epic as it can be. Yeah. But that wasn't my number one album. <laughs> my number I think one I know album. What it is. Peace of mind, yep. man. Yep. Revelations. Where eagles dare. Talking about dog fighting again. I could, dude, this group, the trooper. To team of land, like you said, sun and sun and steel, quest for fire, still life. Fucking the bass on this album, fucking he's just fucking kicking ass, man. Yeah. Fuck, I know he does the he gets shit for his. He's more than that, yeah. Oh, dude, if you listen, listen to the first two albums, he's playing some bass roles. Again, listen to the prodigal, the prodigal son song. His bass line on that is fucking tits, man. Steve it's Harris awesome. rules, dude. He's he not, does, really. he's not nobody's top bass players of anything. You see, De Getty Lee, Billy Sheenan, you never hear about them because they all give him shit for the bass, for this galloping. Oh, he's definitely in my, definitely in my top 10. Definitely. Oh, he is too. I think he's in my top six. I think he's yeah. number six, man. But, uh, hey, man, last week we didn't show any new, I, vinyl or anything did you get any new albums i have not i already showed I you the some, hail storm, i got right? some coming yeah i got some coming then. no i haven't seen that yet i don't think oh, you haven't seen that yet well i got i got hailstorm fucking lizzie's awesome back from the dead dude she's got the big teeth man <laughs> all right she got the big voice to back it up you ever watch her show this week in rock on axis uh -uh. That's i don't have cool. that anymore since i switched over to fucking uh Roku, oh, fuck. included on it. You can't, you can't subscribe to an Access channel. No, they don't have it on there. I got the new Crowbot, which is fucking amazing. Crowbot. <laughs> you never heard of Crowbot? Yeah, I heard of them before. Absolutely. Fucking stoner doom rock, dude. They yeah. fucking rule. And uh, Brian Davis from Damn Good Movie Memories, give him a shout out. He doesn't watch YouTube <laughs> videos though, but he's also on uh, that metal station every uh, Wednesday night from 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. With damn with uh the bad beat, check them out also. And I also got this because I saw Facebook was showing me this. I go, fuck, I love the Georgia satellites. Fucking live yeah. Georgia satellites, dude. Dan Bard fucking rules, dude. 
His solo albums are really good too, man. Everybody gives them shit for like, don't give me your own lines and keep your yeah. hands to yourself. Darn. That's all fucking rules, though. <laughs> don't fucking rules, man. <laughs> fucking rules. And I got some other shit over here. Let's see. Where is it? I just dropped the vinyl. That's a fucking badass Aerosmith record right there. Oh, yeah? I need to get Uh, it digitally, man. I can't play it on the fucking... Aerosmith didn't get... uh, Amazon didn't give me the... I was talking about the bootleg. Isn't that bootleg on the other one? Oh, that's bootleg. But this one's cool. The road starts here. What were these bands coming out with these cardboard box album covers now? (laughs) I don't know, man. But this is a fucking great album, man. I love it. Fucking... I just got a new Helix album, too. From Daniel. Listen to Ozzy. Oh, here it is. I got all these too. Oh. I put it. I've been cleaning up the office, and then I clean up. And Dude, then you I drop your porg, man. Fucking <laughs> porg. But I got this um, Helix Old School. Good shit, man. I don't even know what this is, dude. I've never heard this. It's like I don't know, but they're fucking back shows the t Helix shows. videos fucking rule man titties galore man I fucking love <laughs> Helix man and then I got um overkill live 85 from 95 ah there we go good shit there man I gotta put that in I gotta play that on the show and I got um overkill horoscope uh Dio Magica oh yeah and then I got Dio Inferno Last in Line Live. Fucking hey, dude. That's cool shit. Yeah, I got I got sh- some vinyl. I got some vinyl in the mail, so it should be here before next show. Well, dude, Eric yeah, Swinson nice. Eric Swinson is selling all his he gave me a list of he's got lead of board CDs for five bucks, dude. Dude, where is this list at? Dude, you gotta add him as a friend. I'll I'll send you his profile. Yeah, add I do, as a friend, man. Dude. Cause uh, he's a cool dude, man. He's he's going through some problems right now. He just lost his dog, and uh, uh, I feel sucks. bad for him. And what everybody's losing their pets lately, man. Yeah, my daughter lost her dog the last week. What the fuck is going on? I'm like looking at my dogs. Fuck you! You better not die, bitches. <laughs> my cats. But tomorrow, tomorrow night, I'm supposed to get the uh, collective soul remaster. I can't wait for oh, that. Oh, speaking one, of the collective soul, my my uh, my guy texted me on uh, Facebook messenger and told me uh do you still want the collect a soul record st- store day vinyl of uh, discipline breakdown i go yeah and so does my friend and i said i'll get back with you sunday i think i'll have two so you might awesome have to, dude. Might have to give a, you, dude i might have to give you his information so you could pay him paypal he takes Definitely. paypal yeah and he'll send it thank to you, you. he lives by you <laughs> so you might yeah man all, all the fun i can't wait for the live tracks man like songs like Blame and Forgiveness, man. I've never heard this live before. Yeah, that so. shit's going to be played on thatmetalstation.com. Definitely, on Tuesday. Dude. So I'm getting a CD tomorrow also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, we're collective. I haven't played, what the fuck? I haven't played any Collective Soul on That Metal Station yet. Yeah, no dude. shit. I think we need to de- dedicate a show to Collective Soul. I can only play two tracks by a group because you play three. I think it's two or three tracks and then they cut you off because you can't play two or you can't. Because they get paid. When I pay them, the artists yeah. do get paid. So it's fucking cool, man. I didn't even play Rush last week because fucking the program went, the buffering went down. I went down for like 20 minutes. I had to cut out a bunch of songs. Rush got I had a pretty, You had a pretty tight show last week, except for that one song I told you about yesterday. But. Oh, fucking Duran Duran, the chauffeur, dude. That's like a fucking big number for them in concert. I mean, it's rocking to hear fucking Abigail. You got fucking down and all of a sudden that comes on. I'm, I'm fucking on a roll fucking thing in the fucking house and shit. I'm and like, down, down was just at it because James West came into the show. I'm like, come on, dude. I'm falling asleep. It's getting late, dude. Come on. <laughs> come on. That fucking keyboard. <laughs> I mean, maybe in a, maybe if I was like chilling out, maybe. But man, definitely. <laughs> Definitely isn't a get your going song type of Dude, song. that's like a big, they even had a video of Sing Blue Silver. So sing, <laughs> sing Blue Silver. Dude, dude I'm, I'm, surprised they haven't, I'm surprised they haven't sold out those shows yet, dude. They showed out the Hollywood Bowl, haven't they? Oh, I don't know. I remember, I remember you talking to somebody about wanting to go see them. And you mentioned yeah, I got tickets ticket. because my wife fucked up and got it from a ticket agency. So I had to wait uh, to the day before the show to right. send my digital tickets. 
See, I, 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 I figured those things would sell out within hours. Man. Oh, dude, Duran Duran always sells out in LA everywhere, dude. Their new album, Invisible, so fucking. I got it on vinyl, but fucking, 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 fucking Amazon didn't give it to me on digital. Like fuck, uh, I'm gonna have to buy. This. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy that on digital so I could play it on the show because I love playing Duran. Dur- I play a you Duran. Duran. You can't every bring week. like. Uh, you can't use like songs from the cloud to download. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I can't your, use YouTube. Though? No, it's it's you. No, have I mean, to from have Apple a, Music or something. You can't use like. No, you can't use that. You have to own the tracks to play them on that metal station. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I'm gonna have to buy the digital copy of Invisible. Because I want to play some songs out that I play. Look, the three bands, uh, the four bands I always play: Rush, Duran Duran, Depeche Mode, The Cure. Yeah, you did play The Cure too. I remember. And that the Colts. And Cult Cl- I, rules. I played the new Clutch this week too. I bought the yeah. single track, and I played the new yeah. Ugly Kid Joe. That ain't living. You know what their new album's called? Ain't no living. Yeah, that ain't living. That's their new that single. Living. No, but their new album is called rad wings of destiny i don't know i lost interest in them on their first album man (laughs) oh my god you their their version of their version of casting the cradle was pretty good though dude dude you need to listen to hotel california motel california fucking jesus wrote a harley davidson fucking he go what does it go he goes he goes no uh what is it Moses used to do the lines. Um, I got to look up the lyrics because I don't want to fuck it up. It's <laughs> fucking just great fucking lyrics. I'm going to look it up, tell people. And fucking Aaron Camaro, dude, he's a huge Ugly Kid Joe fan. And we're all pissed off. They only play Europe. I saw it. They're, they're an American band, aren't they? Yeah. They get shit on in America, them. dude. Okay. <laughs> Here's the full lyrics. Don't tell me these lyrics are fucking. He says, Moses used to sniff the lines. Noah used to rock the boat sometimes. Mary used to get undone. And Jesus wrote a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Come on, that's fucking amazing lyrics, man. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I love that chorus, dude. It's just fucking. Dude, the new album, That Ain't Living. For some reason, Whitford Crame has been channeling Bon Scott the last three albums, dude. There's nothing wrong with that. Dude, I'm going to send you the saw, the video for That Ain't Living. If, right. you, if you say that sucks, I'm going to fucking think you suck. <laughs> you fucking suck, Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> fucking ugly. Dude, a, lot of those band, a lot of those bands, like Ugly Kid Joe, you know, because like I said, I was playing the role of daddy. Um... I just lost track of them during, you know, when they first came out in the early 90s. You know what I mean? I never really heard much from them. Like, I, like you, just, you mentioned Ugly Kid Joe, and I think about, I hate everything about you and Cast in the Cradle. You know, I don't know. Not just the you don't know one. Neighbor? I heard, yeah, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Yeah, I know that song, too. Yeah. God, my uh, God. It, that's like it. it says, I'm a punk. My kids are yeah. drunk. This no, I'm sure you'll too. see. It's but a beautiful say, day in the neighborhood, and I hope I didn't ruin your day. Won't you be my pretty much from the two, from 2000 to 2010, man? I'm pretty much out of it as far as yeah. That. I I'm need trying, to get I need to get you to backtrack. I'm trying to catch up, man. I really am. I need I you really to get, am. Ugly Kid Joe put out some amazing. Their fucking last album, fucking let the record play, drop, drop the needle and let the record. I'm gonna send you that song. I'm gonna send you that ain't living. And you fucking, I know you're going to fucking like it. If you don't, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, again, I have to thank Ralph the Air again, man. Because there was a time before, you know, I, when I came across this video, I was thinking about selling, getting rid of all my CD stuff, just using fucking downloads, you know, just getting rid of everything. Yeah. Then he told me, you know, how much, you know, you know, precious, like physical media is. And then you forced it inside my head too. And I'm like, man, you're right. You know, physical media rules. Like it Alice does. Cooper says, you can't own air. You can't yeah. own air, but you could own this. And that's how you learn shit about who the people are in the band and you know, how it was done, the lyrics and everything, man. So it's like, I'm yeah. glad, uh, you know, thank you again, Ralph. <laughs> it's like, man, when I, I it's like, I, I, I just remember mowing my mowing 
neighbors' lawns to get money to buy cassettes. Yeah, I used to too. And begging my mom to buy me cassettes. You know, I'd have to do chores around the house for her to get me shit. And she'd bring it home after work. Like one day she brought me home, Wheels Are Turning by uh, Ariel Speedwagon. She got the tickets for that concert too. Survivor Vital Signs. She brought me those and she said, well, Vital Signs is mine. And I took it. I said, no, it isn't. It's mine. <laughs> I took that right. shit and said, no, mom, you can listen to it, but I'm keeping it in my collection. You know, I mean, my CDs are, are pretty old. I've, had, I've never gotten rid of those, but like, I, I've got over 650 albums in the last four years, man. Dude, so I bought this I'm, when it first came out, Marching to Mars. Hi, Sam Agar. I got so much shit. There's so much. I actually want you, I actually want you that concert. Actually, I bet it was they great. Bunch, they had a bunch of people on the stage with them, uh -huh. a little march thing, or whatever it was. Yeah, but, uh, I had a free ticket. It was a grass seat, so I want to. Do it. Sammy rules, dude. He puts on a party. I dude. don't. I don't mind his solo stuff, man. I you need to go. I, I can't wait for his new album produced. Like I talked about this last night on the Black Spinner podcast that when we're doing the top ten, the top nine Zeppelin albums ranking. I said his new album's being produced by Dave Cobb. Sammy and Michael Anthony are like raving about how great Dave Cobb Slash and Miles Kennedy are raving about how Rival Sons, every album is produced by Dave Cobb. The guy gives you music in the raw. It's not, it's not Mutt Lang shit. It's just fucking raw. You know, I can't wait to hear the new set. I like the last circle album he put out original songs. It's only I like, like the Wall Burritos better. I like that band better. I, I love like that, that girl bass player. That girl bass player fucking ruled, dude. Mona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think, I think I think I think he's got the same guitar player that he's got now. Yeah, he's got Vic, Vic yeah, Johnson. Yeah. You know, he I was. Know, a, I don't know if Jesse Harms still plays keyboard. No, Jesse Harms isn't know. there anymore. But uh, did you know that? Um, and uh, John uh, Jason Bonham's a drummer. Yeah. But did you know that? Um, what is it? I was just gonna. I just fucking had it in my head. Fucking alcohol. <laughs> uh fucking i i like sammy man i understand how you assholes got pissed off he changed van halen you know wasn't Dude, he's, he's 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 almost like he's so self-righteous now dude i mean his attitude towards things i just but don't like man. i just i just think you're getting like politics you're getting the no 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 it's not politics at all dude i mean it's from his own mouth man but you're reading it. Are you hearing it from him? No, like, I'm hearing it from him, in, man. Are you hearing him in the context? In interviews. I mean, I watched his show, and he says a lot of shit about that, about his Van Halen. It's like, uh, what was one that really pissed me off? I can't remember. It was like, uh, he got. He says he got, or somebody asked him to be in another band. I'm trying to think of the band. Well, he did audition for, Van, for uh, Led Zeppelin. And so maybe Miles that was it. I don't know. Miles but there was a band. I'm like, are you kidding me? I've never heard that before, and I don't believe it, dude. But I love David Lee Roth. David Lee Roth is not as good as Sammy now. I uh, will look. I... Whoa, we lost you. Sammy's voice held out, and Dave's did it. I mean, yeah. Well, Dave. Dave needs to. Maybe he has a polyp in his vocal cords. You never know. But uh, I love David. I, like I always say, and Ralph gets on me. I love Sammy. I love David. He goes, there he goes, Mark again, saying, I love I love Sammy, but David Lee Roth is better. And that's what I love about you, man. You get your ass kicked with that, and you still keep on going. I mean, you don't back down. I like that about Dude, you. Dude, I'm like Tom Petty. I, you can stand <laughs> me up to the gates of hell. I won't fucking back down, bitches. Because you've gotten, you've gotten some brutal shit. You know, that, Ralph, Dr. Fuck, <laughs> even said that about me. He says, he's like, you never change your opinion yep. on anything. I respect, he told me he respected me for that. And I, How I think, can you not? I think that was on the freaking uh, art, the uh, Rock and Metal Combat podcast that I did with Terrence and him with the Fuck album. He said that yeah. to me. So that's and true, I, man. That's like, what I love about you, man, is that you don't back down. Because You're I not give, an ass kisser I, or... I but, give you but, honest opinions. I see right. people on Facebook as soon as somebody says something, they're fucking posting things about it. Blah, 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 blah. And I say, can I get your opinion and not somebody else's? Oh, yeah. Fuck, that pisses me off. Charles yeah. Trainer, 
just fucking with you. Charles. He just gives you shit. He just gives you shit, man. Fucking him and his oasis <laughs> love, man. Oh my god. Hey, let me ask you a question for Charles. I know he's watching. Charles, like, I think he was pissed off that we didn't invite him for this Van Ham, this uh Iron Maiden top six, because I think he was a little butthurt. And I go, dude, sometimes we need to do a show with just me and Jerry. Sometimes yeah. I need to do a show with just me and Lee. So I'm like going, dude, you're awesome on the shows, but I, I need to step up my game. What do you mean you need to step up your, your game? You're fine. Do you think he's fine on here? I feel bad because I think we don't let him talk as much. And he's got a he, lot to say, too. But he doesn't talk. We like stop and say, Charles, what do you think? And he's like, blah, blah. and he stops. But and that's dude, my fault, too. I have a bad habit like I just did right now. I was talking over people. And I apologize every time I fucking do that. Uh, it's just in my nature. I can't help it. So, you know. Charles trained the rules. And uh, Metal, Mike cool wants to, Metal Mike wants to be on here with us. We need to fucking get Fucking A, dude. Here. Oh, hell yeah. But we're probably going to have to schedule that for a different time. Because like we like Nate Atchison, we need to get that fucker back on here. Fucker, you know what he told me yesterday? That's fucking Republican. No, I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> you know, I ain't we, a Republican. We, we, I ain't we, a we Democrat. Have, I'm for common we, sense. We have a good time fucking going back on politics. I love them about it. Yeah, but you know what? That motherfucker yesterday. Because and I ain't I, no fucking Democrat. I went off. I went <laughs> off on people who don't like. I I changed my show times on that metalstation.com to get the fucking East Coasters on her, like Nate. Yeah. And well, you're central, but you come on. I was, so I was listening. listening. I told you. I was I, as long as you I, listen, dude, you don't need to be in the <laughs> chat room. As long as you guys give me some numbers here. But Nate, I, he, I think he took offense to it because I said, dude, East Coasters, you motherfuckers, you guys suck. But the people who came in are awesome. <laughs> I changed my show time so you could get on 9 p.m. Eastern. Who goes to sleep at 9 p.m.? I don't go to sleep at 9 p.m. The latest I go to sleep is 11. Uh, sometimes I do. I have to admit it. Well, sometimes I'm time. really burned out. I'm like fucking. And he says, well, some people have to work at five in the morning. Oh, yeah, and I, I go, that. I you that. motherfucker, dude. Ah, I get up at five in the morning every fucking day to get to work, man. So don't give me that shit. And I stay up to 11 <laughs> my time. Fuck you, Nate. Fuck you. <laughs> you suck. Uh, he fucking rules. He fucking I, uh, rules. Yeah, but I got to give him some. I got to say he sucks. Yeah. Because I love him. <laughs> I only say he sucks because I love him, man. But uh, we need you guys to share this show, man. I'm getting a lot of views on the Freeform Rock podcast. Like me and me and Lee are getting a lot more views on our videos. Now we need to fucking st- yeah. you guys giving us views on that podcast. Give us some views on this shit. We're getting we're getting better, man. We're getting over yeah. twenty to thirty a week. That's better than what we're getting twelve to ten. Right. So it's gonna take a while to build us up. We've been over a year now. Uh, we don't have a hundred. Did you start snorting yet. shit on the air, dude? Well, dude, I I did put up a Black Crows video. Uh, I shared it on this site instead of the Freeform. Yeah. And with the Freeform, I got more views on the Freeform side than I did on this yeah. side. But um, when did you start that podcast, by the way? Fucking a! I think 2016. Damn. Yeah, it's been going for a while. The the first few. You always did once a week. Yeah, I always did once a week, and I wow. I uh, fucking. Uh, as I'm saying, I had I went through a lot of fucking co-hosts, man. Uh, Lee was a like a co-host that came. Nate came, and I had the fucking Andrew Jacobs. Fuck you, Andrew Jacobs. I hope you're watching. <laughs> fucking fucking turtle without a shell, whatever you are. He's probably ah. Uh, you know what, Andrew? I have no problem with you, dude. I don't want you to get me banned off Facebook. Uh, I, don't know the, I don't know the dude, but I heard you know not so flattering things about. Him. Hi, this is Andrew Jacobs. Yes, I think this Kiss album rules. Does he go on, <laughs> did he go on Terrence's show a lot? He, they, I quit Terrence's. We used to have the Mark and Terrence experience, the first podcast I did, uh, and then we brought he brought in Andrew, and I'm going. This ain't working. And plus, Terrence started lying that he liked albums that I liked just to make me feel good. I want honest opinions, man. I don't want somebody telling me they like something when they don't. Exactly. I, that's fucking disingenuous. I don't like that shit. So I fucking, I said, you know what, Terrence? You and Andrew go, that lasted two weeks. I mean, fucking Andrew did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Andrew, on that one. You just, yeah. you, you just a racist. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, 
listen to the Terrence and listen to the Terrence and Friends uh, podcast on YouTube. I want to watch Terrence and Philip. Terrence and Philip. <laughs> my God. All right, man. Share. Get on here. Post us. Subscribe. We are don't on. Don't forget Rat- to tell us what you don't forget to tell us what you think of when you're on the crapper too. Yeah, tell us what you think is on the crapper and give us your top six Iron Maiden albums on here, Facebook, or wherever. And Eric C. P. Eric Arms P. Jordan, fuck you. <laughs> I just want to say fuck you. We love oh, yeah, that I guy. Want say, I want to say one more thing. Fuck the lightning. Okay, I'm done. You got lightning? Fuck the Tampa Bay lightning. Oh, uh, fuck. I hope Avs win, even though they're Yeah, lightning. I do too. Fucking, I hate, the, I hate the Avs when they had that fucking guy from Montreal as a goaltender. That's what oh, it came Patrick Waugh. Yeah, Patrick Waugh. <laughs> fuck you, Patrick Waugh. Uh, fuck. Fuck everybody. Fuck you. Yeah, you right. all suck if you don't watch this show. <laughs> all right. But I love you. All right, man. Share, subscribe, post us, lick our asses. We love you guys. All right, man. Later, Jerry. Take it easy, brother. All right, bye. All right, bye.